The switch is off, but the light is flickering. Why is that so? Okay, let me turn on the switch. Light is full, but when it's off, it's flickering. It is doing that because there's no neutral connected to the switch. To solve this issue is to make use of this turn on parallel light. Alright, turning on two lights. So I had on that parallel light, so it has turned on the parallel light. Turn off all lights. All so right. now you can use off. OK Google to control your switch now. You can control it through the app. Hello everyone and welcome to DIY with Ray. So on this YouTube channel, I'll show you many things you can do yourself, like the name implies, DIY. So let's, let's go straight to the point. This is a smart switch. You can use this to replace your lighting point in your home. And um, this is powered by Tuya app. We'll be getting to that later in this video. So how does this work? Just like your normal switch, let me illustrate what a switch does. So this is a bulb. It's a LED bulb, that's why it's using this choke. And, and this is where you connect the bulb to the power. So now I'll be making use of this um, plug. This is the other end. Okay, this, I was doing a video before now. So I'm just making the YouTube video now. So good. So how does um, a light come on? You plug to the socket and um, these two power to these two connection here and your bulb goes on so let's test that so you can see this is how every light comes up no matter the application give it life and neutral your light comes up very straightforward so this is that let me turn off the socket first so we have connected Turn it on, bulb is on. Straightforward, right? So now, how does the switch, how does the switch operate? For a switch to operate, you have to break either the life or the neutral, whichever is which. You have to break it. That is, you have to cut it off, and the circuit is now open. This is called an open circuit because it's not completed. That is, it's not connected. So now, let's plug it back. I'm just going to take a lot of precautions because there's no. Um, I'm not going to be taping any exposed end here, so I'll be disconnecting most of the time. So now, once you close your switch, that time you press your switch on, you have closed the circuit, and the light comes on. Okay, I think this thing is shaking. The light comes on. When you take it up, you have opened the circuit, and the light goes off. That's basically how a switch operates. So now, I'm going to unplug this now. And I will just extend this switch with this cable. Still the same thing. So just extend the switch with this cable. And um, so now the end of my switch, the end of my switch is these two terminals here. I guess you understand that straightforward. So now when I close my circuit, my light comes on. Open my circuit, my light goes off. Basic electricals. Now, there comes the smart switch. You know, normally on your analog switch, you have just two terminals, which is where you plug these two. Oh, it's life. Just imagine, I didn't take it off. Okay, so now, when you close the circuit by clicking this, by your normal switch I'm talking of now, your light comes on, open goes off. You don't need any electronics inside. But this smart switch has a lot of electronics inside. And now, this electronics needs to be powered for the smart switch to connect to Wi-Fi, where you can control your switch, wherever you are. So now, where, where are we heading to? This smart switch has a neutral in. So if you are building your house and you have um, plans to use smart switch in the future, it is advisable that in every lighting point, um, every lighting point switch, you send a neutral cable there, so you won't have to go through the stress of doing what we are doing now. So if for uh, older houses that want to use these smart switches that don't have neutral yet, or neutral was not connected, you are not left alone, you can also use a smart switch, and that's why I'm making this video. So now let's quickly connect the switch to this smart switch, and you'll see um, something strange happening. 
let's quickly connect it so these are the terminals and just make it a little bit shorter so it can fit in well okay hope you enjoyed the video so far if you want to see more diy you can consider subscribing i actually don't upload much on this youtube but if there's a lot of turn up from this video then i'll be doing more diy videos for all of us to see okay so it's, it's this now i've um, basically connected the switch basic switch connection now let me power this circuit again you will see something strange now okay now the switch is off but the light is flickering why is that so okay let me turn on the switch light is full but when it's off it's flickering it is doing that because there's no neutral connected to this switch you understand there's no neutral connected to this switch and um, the way to go about this to solve this issue is to make use of this capacitor that comes with these um, switches so now connecting this capacitor is a bit tricky and you just have to get it once and you will forever understand it to connect this capacitor you can't do it where this switch is so you, all you need to do is connect your switch replace your analog switch screw it in then you go to your first bulb that is this bulb you are you are powering and that is flickering you connect this capacitor in parallel with your choke or with your bulb inlet this flickering issue um, occurs mostly with lead bulbs so a lead bulb uses choke so you just connect it in parallel with your choke so let's do that now So now I've connected the choke in parallel with the capacitor, the capacitor in parallel with the choke, whatever we call it. Now we plug this back. Can you see? No more flickering. No more flickering. And you see our Wi Fi is blinking now. It was even blinking without um, when it was flickering. You can still connect to Wi Fi. So now we can turn on and turn off, and it will work perfectly. I hope. Um, you have you are following so far now this is a smart switch normal analog soft touch and it has many other features you can use it with your um echo dot you can use it with your alexa you can use it with your google whatever you want to use it for so now let's go to the app you can connect this switch to your tuya app so this is your tuya smart i have a lot of tuya devices but um since when you Connect the switch, you'll see it blinking here, which means it's in pairing mode. I can easily just add a device to shoot the device shortly. Searching since it's in pairing mode, we'll see the device. Look at it here Wi Fi, Bluetooth. I don't know if you can see it, so I'll just click it. Okay. Showed my Wi Fi password. So if you come to my house, I will change it after this video, anyways. So now it's adding this switch to my list of smart devices. When you add to your Android, only on Android, not an iPhone, and you download Google Home, you can use OK Google to control your switch and many other smart devices you will be using. Okay, see, I said OK Google and it's going to be responding to me. Okay, bye bye, Google. Bye bye. I bye -bye. found this on the web. Okay, I don't need that. So. Um, in the previous video, I added it, but I had to um, remove it to make this video. So that's why it's still named Palo Light. So done. So it has been added now, and I can control it through my phone. Is that not awesome? You can turn it on. You can set the timer. How long do you want your light to come on? And blah, blah, blah. So after putting it like this, and you have your Google Home, all you can easily do, you can just lock your phone. Okay, Google. Hey, hey Google. Google is not responding. Let me open. Hey Google. Turn on Palo Light. Sorry, I don't understand. Turn on Palo Light. Turn on Palo Light. All right, turning on two lights. So I had on that Palo Light, so it has turned on the Palo Light. Turn off all lights. 
right. now Check you can use out. okay google to control your switch now you can control it through the app whichever way you want very smart all you need to do is to solve that flickering issue that would arise if you are using a LED bulb using this capacitor and you are good to go you have your two year smart switch so this video will come in handy for a lot of people so share it to whatever you feel might find it useful you can find this smart switch on aliexpress i will drop a link if you need it to be under this video or if you're in nigeria you can buy from me i'm in benin city if you're in benin city i can bring it to you i have a lot of them one gang is just for fourteen thousand. Two gang is fifteen thousand. no three gang currently but soon it will be available for sixteen thousand. so you can buy that and replace all those analog switches in your house okay parallel lights what's going on here this phone is broken it's giving some multi touches okay i think that's all for that let me use okay we'll go again turn on parallel lights okay i think that's all the phone is misbehaving so that's it you can disconnect connect it retains it retains its um memory Let's go back to two year. Go back. See that? So wherever you are, you can use this to control your security lights, your garden lights. Just replace basically everything. Mind you, this is another one. Uh, this the maximum light you can use on this is one thousand watts. But this is a water heater switch that has timer. I will make a video on this next. So stay tuned. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you found it helpful. So this one is 20 amps. You can see it can take 4,400 watts. This is what I use my water heater. And I'll be making a video on this next. How to connect it and um, all its features. So stay tuned and have a nice day ahead. Bye for now.